Hi uh, guys, it's Alec Pierce here at the Ranch again with another little piece of equipment that I think is fantastic. Okay, now I'm talking about the angle grinder. This angle grinder, by the way, is a 5-inch, pretty standard angle grinder. Bosch, really good. I've had this for about 15 years, and I have beat the heck out of it. It is fantastic. It's probably my favorite tool. You know, I weld, but I'm not a welder. But I'm an artist with an angle grinder. <laughs> you know what I mean? But for making things and cutting things, cutting steel, oh, it's just fantastic. You really have to have an angle grinder around a farm or in a workshop. But, uh, and, and I use it, you know, you can get cutting bits and you get different kinds of grinding bits and so on. But I saw something the other day, I think I saw it on, I don't know where I saw it, Facebook or somewhere anyway, and I was like, gosh, that looks, that looks handy. And I bought it, and it is. It's really, really great. Let me show you. Okay, angle grinder with a regular grinder on it. The first thing, we've got to take this grinder off. And one thing I've learned a long time ago is unplug the angle grinder before you start changing the disc because it's just too easy to hit that button. And it wouldn't be much fun if you uh, hit the on-off button as you're taking off a disc. Now, if you have one of these, you know they're the simplest things in the world. You can change discs, put on a nice new disc, or put on a cutting disc in a minute. Well, I'm going to put this on, okay? I'm going to get Kevin to give you a close-up of this in just a minute. But let me put this on here first of all, and I'm just going to show you what it is, and then you you decide if it's something that will make your life at your ranch, your hobby farm, your home, your whatever, cottage, whatever, a little easier. Because that's my whole intent, to show you stuff that might make the job a little easier. Take a look at this, Kevin. This is not an angle grinder anymore. This is an angled chainsaw. Yeah, that's what it is. So you take off the angle grinder plate bit, whatever it happens to be, and you replace it with this. It's a three-piece item. The uh, the two the two plates and the chainsaw come apart so that you can you can sharpen it and take it apart. And then they recommend, and it's a good idea that you that you change the angle of the protector as well, so that so that you have the chainsaw exposed like so. So loosen that up turn it a little bit, and then tighten it back up. Does it work? Does it work? Watch this. Power. Stand back, Kevin. It's really good. Actually, in one of the videos I saw for this device, I'm just chopping up some wood just to impress you. One of the videos I saw, the fellow was using this for carving because it's small and he can do little, little he was carving a bear, I think, out of a log. And he made just a beautiful job for the, with the small pieces because the blade is actually very small. And you see it's only about four inches in diameter. Anyway, just a thought. Again, I have no idea where to get these, but I guarantee if you go on to Google and you Google uh, angle, grinder, chainsaw, blade, something like that, you'll find it. Allie Pierce at the ranch. It works really well for me. Talk to you soon.